Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at the Epic Games Twin Motion Importer for Unreal Engine. Now this is more like a bridge. It is uh, some sort of bridge system that now exists that can help you move your stuff from Twin Motion over to Unreal Engine. So when this was announced, and by the way, this is a public beta, so you can also go ahead and try it. When it was announced, we covered a video about this and it's quite interesting the kind of things that is now available and some stuff that you can work with. But it's not all rosy because there are certain things that cannot move over from twin motion to unreal engine at this point but then we'll simply go ahead and talk about it now if you want to get this you can go over to the link in the description go over to the unreal marketplace click on the external link and it's going to bring you right here now once it brings you right here if you have unreal engine 4.25 or 4.26 you'll be able to download either of these now once you download this it comes in as a zip file and all you need to do is go over to the plugin section within your unreal installation folder and create a brand new folder called twin motion extract all the files that you have in that zip file and transfer them over to that twin motion folder that you've created inside the plugin section of your unreal installation part so once you do that fire up unreal engine and then go over to the plugins within your unreal engine and type the word twin motion now once you type the word twin motion you find out that there are a couple of twin motion stuff that you find or that you would see as your plugin stuff now make sure you turn on the whole three of them because you're going to notice that you have the twin motion content, twin motion base, and also the data smith twin motion importer. Turn this things on, restart on real engine, and at this point, it's gonna be super easy for you to bring in your twin motion files directly from twin motion over to Unreal Engine. So with Unreal Engine restarted, you would now notice that you have a data smith icon on the top. Now, if you don't have this before, you will notice you have that now. If you had that before, you would now notice that if you click on that button, you now have both the U data smith importer and also the twin motion. Importing stuff is not the problem. It is the things that you can import. So first things you need to know, there are certain stuff that are supported and there are certain stuff that are not supported right now. So let's go through and take a look at some of the things that are supported so you can actually get a good hang about this before you proceed. Materials, most of the materials are supported and you can tweak these materials however you want. Vegetations are all supported, so all kinds of vegetations are supported, both the ones you painted, the ones you imported, once you instanced, and also the ones that you placed around. The grasses, the shrubs, the trees, rocks, and also miscellaneous assets are also supported. All of the assets within your library, practically all of them are supported, so it's easy for you to transfer things back and forth. But then some assets are not supported. Now, some of the things that you might not be able to get into Unreal Engine from Twinmotion include the sculpted landscape, your vehicles, your characters, cameras, artificial light, decals, water objects, you know, all of these things that are listed here. And for the most part, you feel like, okay, it seems to be like every single thing that you have in Twinmotion isn't coming except for the geometries and also for the materials and right about now i would say yes these are basically the things that cannot come in so the things that can come in are assets and not modifiers that you have or modified assets that you have in you know twin motion the assets are basically things that you can move in right now the triggers cannot come in the animated characters cannot come in but regardless of that you can now bring in some of the other stuff right here so with that said let's talk about the twin motion file type that you can bring in now if you have twin motion file that was made with Twinmotion 2020.1 or lower, these things are not going to be supported with the data smith. The version that is supported is Twinmotion 2020.2 and above. And so if you're importing a file that is Twinmotion 2020.1 and all the way back, it's going to tell you that it cannot bring the things in. So you have to go back to Twinmotion, take out the assets that you don't need and resave this file. Now, once you resave the file, you'll be able to bring it right in. Now, while bringing your files in, you might choose to turn on some of these things that includes either the cameras, the animatable objects, but you know, like we've already talked about that certain things don't come in. So I would really suggest that you turn off the unnecessary stuff and probably just leave the material and also the geometry as checked objects. Now, once you do that, hit on OK, import the file. This might take a while, depending on how heavy your file is. So it's gonna take a while and it's gonna pack every single thing that you have and load them right in here. 
Now for a much more practical approach to this, let's actually take a look at another file. With Twinmotion right here, you can see that we have this going on and we have a, a brand new Unreal Engine scene. So let's take a look at this. And we already know Twinmotion by default is a real-time tool for architectural visualization. This is one of the beauties of using a tool like this. So at any point in time you want to get this cool weather, you can do that, all right? You can play with that. But of course we don't need to do that because Unreal Engine already has it. And for this, you can get this happening and that is actually something you might not be able to get in Unreal Engine as easy as you can get in Twinmotion. You would have to go in like an extra step, an extra level to get this. But in Twinmotion, it's very easy to achieve this as you can keyframe this stuff from one scene to another and achieve that amazing look. So one of the things I would like you guys to also note is if you bring in an object or you bring in something like this. So let's go all the way up. Let's take a look at the objects and let's get something about that bring this right in and then we will go all the way up as well get the material let's take a look at the materials that we have i'll possibly just make this a nature material on the base okay so we can have that there and we can jump all the way up and get let's get this one i think this might be looking good all right so that might be looking good and this is you know this is what we have let's go ahead and save this file and then because we have unreal engine open right here so let's move this side by side so what we can do is we can go right here where we have our data smith and import that test file that we're just looking at once you do that click on open and do the same stuff that we talked about before once you import your files okay so once you bring in your files it creates a folder for you so the folder that it brings in for you contains the materials and also a linked file so this is more like the linked file or you know data smith scene which you'll be working with and you might be wondering where is our assets and why are you know why do we have this huge landscape now this is because we have that starting ground so there's a default starting ground in Twinmotion which is this huge stuff and you can always turn this off and you can also you know go ahead and delete this if this is something you don't want to work with the same thing we can do that here select right click and also delete that actually let's just select this and tap delete on the keyboard and get rid of it click on yes now select any of the stuff that you have there, press F on the keyboard, and that way you will be able to get right in there. So there's a huge difference between how you move things. So for those who will be coming to Unreal Engine or for those that are, you know, looking at Unreal Engine for the first time, how you work with stuff here is by holding down Alt with your left mouse button, you can orbit, Alt with your middle mouse button, you can pan, and then you can also pan with your middle mouse button without holding down Alt, and you can also, you know, have a, a big view all right so you can look from left to right with just your left mouse button but if you want to rotate across an object you need to hold down alt click close to that object all right click around the presence of the object and then you will be able to rotate around that so you want to jump to an object so just like you do in twin motion select the object tap f on the keyboard and you can jump to that object and by just bringing this in you can tell that there is a huge difference so let's take a look at that so you can tell that there's a huge difference so let's uh, reorient the way we work and also look at this so you can tell that there's a couple of differences especially with the lighting so we have that there and you can see we have this one right here so let's look at that let's also zoom right in so for zooming in you also need to hold down alt with your right mouse button and you can click and zoom right in the same way you can do that in Maya so right now you can see that we have a, a sort of sort of a difference all right you can notice that there's a little bit of difference with the way it looks now it's also very interesting to see that the way you get to play with the materials is uh, quite nice so at this point if I also select that and let's say I want to make changes to the materials I can double click and it opens up a brand new room now within this room is where you can make some very interesting choices and remember the same way I told you guys about navigation that is exactly how you navigate here as well so if you want to make some changes to the tint of course you can make that change to the tint and save and you can click on save and this is going to be you know transferred all the way back to Unreal Engine so let's close this once you're done, close it and you'll notice that you have that feedback right there. Now there are certain things as well that you need to keep in mind while trying to move things uh, back and forth. So one of the things as well is 
you know how you bring in an FBX file directly in Twinmotion and it's just a static. That is not the case for this one. So once you bring it in an FBX file, it's gonna be animatable so you can easily work with it. Now there's also something else which uh, you guys are very comfortable with or you probably you're comfortable with in Twinmotion and that is how you can change your time of day, all right? Changing time of day is real time in Twinmotion and you might want to know how to do that here. So for that, there is a skylight which you can work with and at the same time, there is a light source. So with the light source, you can make some very cool decisions. So let's move that to this part, raise this all the way up and you can play with the intensity and you can bring that down depending on what you want. Let's zoom all the way out. And then you can also take a look at the assets because these are very tiny looking, you know, widgets that we have here. So you can select these things and you can play with them however you choose. And honestly, this is exactly the same thing that happens here. It's just that you have a control that simply saves you that time. So whenever you do something like this is technically you're doing exactly this. All right. So you're doing this at the same time. So it's, uh, it's quite interesting to see that we now have this bridge and of course the developers have also said that they are working on modalities and ways to make it even way better at the end of the day so this is like the first test run there's going to be several ones that will be coming and for those who want to test this thing out you want to try it and get some cool feedback you can literally see the huge difference between the both of them this is uh, twin motion right here this is unreal engine you can tell that lighting looks better you can also tell that the shading looks quite better than what you can get in you know twin motion so do you move to unreal engine from twin motion at this point my suggestion is going to be no don't move yet until you know they try to implement some of the things that they have i wouldn't suggest that you move about this time because first of all it is not as stable as you think it will be in most cases you might experience some crashes and most of the things that you actually need for Unreal Engine, most of them can be handled in Twin Motion at this point. The only things that you cannot really handle in Twin Motion, which you know gives Unreal Engine lots and lots of leverage, is things like that deals with the camera, some very cool visual effects stuff. You might not be able to get these things in Twin Motion at this point, but in terms of triggers, you will be able to easily access these things in Twin Motion. So, except you want to become a power user or you want to create like some very cinematic or very uh, precision nice looking fine detailed renders then that is the only time I would suggest that you can move from twin motion to unreal engine but is the bridge worth having yes if you want to test it but would you totally switch over to that right now my answer is going to be test the waters yourself but from me to you i would suggest that you wait until this plugin becomes a one-click action because the whole process of you know downloading traveling from one place to another copying files might not really be the best workflow at the point so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section it's been a wonderful time you know playing with twin motion and of course if you're new to twin motion we have tons and tons of videos about that that you can follow and yep for those who would like to also take a look at unreal engine this is unreal engine 4.26 and we've covered a couple of videos about that link to that is also going to be in the description so you can go through and check that out so that's going to be about it i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like the video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace